If you've been 3D printing for a while, you know one of the most common tools you use and sometimes fight with is the bed scraper. But here's the big question, which is better, metal or plastic? Today I'll compare both types, show you two metal designs and two plastic ones, and we'll find out which scraper truly earns a spot on your print bench. Let's start with metal scrapers. These are typically made from stainless steel or carbon steel and they're known for their strength and precision. You'll need two M2.6 by 6 mm self-tapping screws to keep the blade in place. The benefits are immense. They can easily remove stuck prints and tough first layers. The sharp edge can get right under prints even if your adhesion was strong. They last a long time and don't warp or dull quickly. Some cons include that Metal can actually scratch or gouge your build plate, especially if you're using a PEI sheet or glass. You have to be extra careful near flexible plates or soft surfaces. And of course, the sharper edge means it's easier to cut yourself if you're not cautious. Metal scrapers are perfect if you print with high adhesion materials like PETG or ABS. Just use a gentle touch. Now let's talk about plastic scrapers. These are safer, lighter, and more forgiving on your print surfaces. Plastic won't scratch your bed, making it ideal for PEI or glass surfaces. They're great for light adhesion prints like PLA, and they're cheap and easy to replace. If you have a 3D printer of your own, well, you can print your own scraper. Some of the cons include that the plastic blades tend to wear down faster, especially if you scrape often. They sometimes struggle with prints that are really stuck down, so you might need more force. And they can bend or deform if you apply too much pressure or heat. Plastic scrapers are the safer option for beginners and for general daily printing tasks. So here's a quick comparison. Metal is more powerful, precise, long-lasting, but risky on your bed surface. Plastic is safer, surface friendly, affordable, but less aggressive on tough prints. Honestly, I recommend having both. Use plastic for everyday prints and metal only when you really need that extra leverage. So which one do you use? Metal or plastic? Drop a comment below and tell me what works best for your setup. If you found this comparison helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more 3D printing gear tests, and I'll see you in the next build.